57's time. Right, OK. Let's find out what this little spring thing finally is. Hi guys, Retro Trek Ralph here with another Star Trek Nation Ration Bill Enterprise 1701D from Eagle Moss Hero Collector. So far we've got up to 15, we're halfway through the 15 magazine. We're up to stage 57, going to the board over here. We have parts, let's show you what parts we've actually got in 57. I mean this is coming, getting thick and fast. We have got rest. We have a part of the skeleton. We have a distribution board, another one with lots and lots of connectors. We have a plastic thing. We have a thing in a spring. We have some AM screws, some FM screws, some BM screws, some tie wraps and a switch. Hmm, don't know. And another cable. Another cable. Okay, that's just a, 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 brand, a jumper cable between one and the other. Okay, I'll keep them in there. I'll keep them in there. I'll put those in the box. So, okay, we'll put that in the box as well. All right, this is quite a lot bigger part than we were used to before, because there were a lot more bits and bats on the last one. I think it's either the rushing through to get the skeleton, or they've actually thought, well, instead of giving us that piece there, they're giving us, because that would be in two pieces as well. So there is one in the next part as well, but we'll get round to that eventually. So. I'll put that to one side. I've got plenty of screws this time being anyway. I don't need to open those just yet. I don't think anyway. FMs, yeah, I've got plenty in there. So let's have a look at 57. 55, 50 B, 56, do, 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 57. So take the thing with the spring. Take the lock spring. Lock spring? Oh, okay. So this might just lock in the nacelle when it's in place all being well. So I need to then uh, sell, we just did the from last episode. Two locks, maybe? Oh, okay. So we need this part as well. Strange thing with the two tabs, which holds down the spring, which I don't need to lose. And then two AM screws. A because of the size and M because of the metal is going into this metal part here. So I need the screw in, the spring in, sorry spring in and the little end here it looks like a little lego sword or something like that but it's not that goes that way but it goes all goes inside here except for that part there so like that but i'd hold it in place in case it springs out okay so that's going to just lock in place when it's it's going going on and in okay so then that goes one way or the other i don't know Probably goes both either way. Yeah, that looks fine to me. I'm still holding in place. I still don't trust it from springing out. I don't really want to lose this. I thought that was a wire, to be honest. I didn't think it was a spring. Oh, I'll go in there. First one of these. Oh, magnetic thing. Okay, so I screw on the top with AM. This isn't working properly no more. <sighs> On, in you go, in you go, thank you. There's no threads inside the metal, so you just make your own with the screw. Do it right, it's easy. Do it wrong, you're gonna break things. Take your time screwing things in. Friction will cause metal to get hotter, and we don't want to break this. They want this to build, and it's fine. I don't need to bodge things up. Tiny bit of tension there, done. So that is that then, it will spring, it will just lock itself in place. It's not going too far back because this piece of metal here and it will just lock this on, I should put this onto the, the well I assume, the back end when we eventually get it built. So keep the spring and the package until you need them. What? Oh yes, okay, fine, I did exactly that. They must have known I was coming. Okay, so 57, we now need, take the saucer PCB module and plug into the in-out saucer. What? 
plug it into the in-out socket on this PCB board, which I need to get the source in. So this looks like this is finished again for the time being. I need to get the source. So this is getting a right pain in the backside doing this because I'm, I'm all over the place with parts. And then it comes over with the saucer. Oh, here is the saucer. Yeah, so we need, I assume it's there. Although I could be wrong. Let's plug in the actual cable we've got. No, because that's a switch. Red and black. But that's got red and white. Sometimes I do wish that I would read my own instructions. Okay. See, this gets the back end of things and probably the underside will go into certain bits on here anyway. <sighs> then place a source of PCB, which is not that way, it's that way. According to this picture, we have the part there running from there to there. Is it this? It has to be this piece, because I have no other part. Right, so why does it go diagonal from over here to there? Mm. That's a bit of a pain. So we've got a cable in there. Does that go there? No, that goes in there. Oh, good Lord. Okay, so i got to get these parts out of the way because they will go on to certain things. This will hold down a lot of things and I've got that light as well. It still hasn't told me where it goes. Does it matter about holding all these wires in? Because they could be out of the way and they're done with especially that big one there. So it looks like I need screws and screws. Yeah, I can move them out of the way. I don't want to trap anything, but I do want to keep things out of the way. That's already done and should be in there. So it looks like we have four FM screws. That looks good to me. Leave that into there anyway. Oh, there's a squeeze underneath. Just basically distributing power from one side, one board to the next. Could have done it better if it was in this corner here. This one has the same one, which would go from there to there. So four screws, when well, this is actually flat on here, not nipping anything in place. One, two, three, four screws. Give me a second and I'll get that done. Now a little bit of soul searching, a little bit of pre-planning, should we say. That's on, here's the switch. I, it's looking more and more like there's no one major switch to turn everything on. Although it's, uh, we'll get round to this eventually, I suppose. Right, the switch then goes, I'll turn this this way around to get this picture. So the actual first board over here, the switch goes in to the second one over here on the green. Shouldn't matter which way around it goes for switches, but it will only go in one way for the connector. So whichever way it doesn't go, it will go the opposite. Unless you've bent the pins and everything's in. So that's there, that will then look like it's going over here. The next one, for the panel ones, I had a small problem because uh, I think it's this cable here was connected into this part on here where this cable is. Can I get you in a little bit and have a look? You might have to just deal with that at the moment. It was into here. So I took it out because I think this one, which was never connected, goes into round and at the very end one over on there. I could have probably have took that underneath, but I still can. I'll get it out of the way. So it'll be in it like that. And this green one then goes in the second probably just goes off to the left and the right, all being well, but they're all A's. On the board, these are A's, so it's the four, well, the two LEDs, sort of one, that goes on the opposite way around. So I'm just improvising at a second to hope that goes in. Come on, Ralph, there you go. Right, so that one can now go underneath. Took this cable out of the way a little bit. I mean, better if I took it underneath that one, yes. Yes, that's better. I think. Then we get these three cables here, which are left impulse. No, they're not. Yes, they're not. No, they're not. It's these one, two, and yeah, there's three. There's two on that side and one over here. Because <sighs> there isn't one in 
this here. It's a little bit on that side of where the Arboretum is, but there isn't anything on the Arboretum, which is a shame, really. And these all go into these three here, showing that the 53, it doesn't matter which one goes where and how. So I'm just going to put them in and then cable tidy things after. I'm going to go there, there. I'm going to go to one way. Where's the other one? There. It is, it is it's quite blinding where the wires are supposed to go. One, two, and this one can go. I've still got this LED here. One, two, and three. It doesn't matter so much. This is about ripping it round, but I'm going to cable tie this anyway. I've got plenty of spare cable ties anyway. Then it asks you then to cable tie. Oh, which way around is that supposed to be? That. Okay, that way around. Shall we see? Yes. So it looks like there. So we cable tie things down here then. Okay, let's just tidy things up a little. I've still got this light I need to get out of the way as well as a switch. Okay. See, that must, I don't know why that does it. Cable ties we've got plenty of anyway. We've got loads in this kit. So we'll go, just to try and get these over here, we'll wrap those together maybe there. I don't think it wants to go, I think it wants to go further over here. But these, just tidy cables, it's just, for some reason it's just tidy cables there, which is what we've already done. Or have we? Yeah, it's just, just basic, um, yeah, it's just, basic cable tidiness, shall we say. So I'm going to tie wrap these together and these together. Can I get these over here so they can be part of that? That one can be. These two can't. Give me a sec. We'll tie, the, tie this up a little bit with some more cable ties. Like I said, I've got, with this we have the four. I have already got a couple from other builds so we can faff and play at our leisure. Right then. Cable ties done. It's looking a little better. It could be better. Right, there is the switch, which I don't know where the heck it goes. I assume underneath the saucer, as usual. The only thing that else is, is this one LED. Where it goes, nobody knows. So it's better than, it could be a bit better, but it's it'll do for the time being just threading this one underneath there. I could do another one on there, but I still got plenty of connectors to do things with. Now, the next section, it needs the old battery pack back again. <sighs> okay, which I've resold it before. Batteries are already in, hopefully, yes. So, it wants you to put this on the IN2 on the PCB1, which is there, which is actually this, is it this one? The, on the top here, the second one in, all being well, Everything according to this should light up. If there's the right way around, there's only one way these go, and that is definitely that way around. Okay, so that's not on, that is on, that is not on. Okay, there are no lights on whatsoever. Everything is rigged up to where it should be. That is a main power on and off. It is on, and there are no lights at all. Inside the switch, you fitted the step C to the on position. Yes, that is on an on position. That one should be on, and this isn't working. This is all powered by this one battery pack. No, can't be. Hmm. So let's try a different in. Nope. Definitely not working. I see something on here and I don't see anything. Different places for ins. Hmm. It's not giving me anything, is it? That one instead. Something's really not wired up right, is it? That's going from there to there, and then I've got this one from there to there. Is that definitely the switch? Is that definitely the right place for the switch? Yes, yes, no, yes. The second one on. So that should be on. That third one should be. 
I N two. There's I N two there. Hmm. I'm gonna think if the batteries have gone flat. The cable snapped again. Anything? Nothing. I'm not keen on this battery pack being on here. I'll change these batteries and see what I can do. Right, under some investigation, shall we say, um, this screw here on the centre board, if I screw this in too much, if you can see over here there's a light on, screw it too much, it shorts out. So I need to do something, because there's obviously something shorting out somewhere on this, on this board here. Because if I leave it like that, I will look at the other side. Oh, I need to turn some lights off. Um, okay, they're all on. Impulses are on. Not very bright, but this is running from nine volts. Well, sorry, four and a half volts. The amount of batteries on here is ridiculous. There's some light leakage over here. It's this sort of stuff I can I can sort out quite easily. Actually, doesn't look too bad on the camera. But there is definitely a short on that part of the board. I know there was one. Oh, there's all the lifeboats down here. I can see light coming through. That bit there looks stupid if you can see where my hand is. It's, it's, yeah. I'm going to put some tape on the back of that board to hopefully give it some oomph. So if you've got the same problem yourself, all the wiring up looks fine, except it's that corner there shorting out something so I'm going to take this board out all four of these screws on this board just remove it put have a look underneath see what's shorting because this is this is I know somebody did say about it was there was something shorting on here I need to take this out before this part here goes in I think it's oh goodness right it is there potentially so I'm going to struggle to get that board out once I've got that piece on there. So give me a sec. I need to insulate that better because this one doesn't seem to have a problem. Actually, I've got that on the in out. That's not even on. So how is that on, but that's not even plugged in? Okay. Oh. Whoa, hold on. So I press that down and it's coming on. I've got another short there as well. So that wants to be down. There are problems with electric on this. There we go. There's a short in that corner. A short on this corner. Right, I'm going to take the boards out. I'm going to insulate behind them and then re screw them back in place. <sighs> this is very odd. This is very strange. Like, it's, it's got this. It shouldn't be doing this. Now, a bit of faffing. Um, I've removed this screw here. I'll show you why. It's an FM screw. I think it's shorting out there. So I put the screw in once. If you can see this light here, everything is on. This light's on. Screw, screw, screw. It's gone. So moving this board closer to that, it just shorts. I can kind of. No. I can leave it like that. I'm not happy with that. If it's shorting, it will short all the time. So what I'm going to do is remove that screw, get rid of it. I put a piece of tape underneath here just in case and it was, it, it kind of worked for a little bit. Then I got, yeah, these connectors underneath here and got those trapped underneath and then I removed it and then it, it's carried on doing the short, but it's not doing anything else with that screw out. So it's, it's definitely the earth part on here. There are bits on the board, which possibly maybe a switch on, on, there and, and other parts me yeah, there's more design on this than than it's needed but remove that screw it's not shorting it's fine there's nothing underneath there that's the thing with it i can't understand why it would potentially short unless that's the that's definitely a negative but everything's in everything's on and i'll show you again with the lights off um yes yes it's there, I'm going to find the zoom out part of the, um, the, the the remote. That wasn't the remote. That wasn't the zoom out. So basically, we've got there. It's it's working fine. I can't even find the zoom out. There it is. There, 
thank you. <laughs> so we have quite a lot of light on there. I'm gonna hold the battery pack, which is on the front here. Let's turn, that was me, turn it around. Yeah, it would have looked a lot better with the Arboretum over here lit up. Why is the only, oh, there isn't. Uh, that's the sponge, ignore that, that's fine. Both the impulse engines are lit up. I'll put that there, it will show you both. There, done. So that is actually working as it should. Plenty of light leaks, as you'd expect. <sighs> I don't think it matters too much to do light leaks. I think it's just perfectly fine, and it's one of those things that this model is gonna have to do. Light switch on the front, let me got you again. It's off, on. And we still don't know why the red and blue one, right, red and green on the corner there are doing anything, or if they should be doing anything. So I'm gonna remove this battery pack. That's just for testing, I assume. So, yes. Now, final part. This bit. So we want it, do we want it that way or not, what way? No, because we've got this little notch thing here, which is there. This needs to go. Follow the notch over here, which you can't see because I've got too small a desk area. Right, this wants to go along this line here. Why does it go there? It doesn't go there, Ralph. Da -da 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 -da. Second band in, the FM screw there and there. Ah, this is going to be fun. This is going to be going to start trapping cables. <sighs> so anything that wasn't in the right place to start with, we're now going to find exactly where it should have gone. Possibly. Or maybe it just rests on, but doesn't tightly screw into everything. There's BM screws, there's FM screws. FMs are on the front four here. BMs are on the second band. BMs are on these two over here. So two, one, two, one, two, three, four. There are plenty left over just in case. So let me screw that in place and we'll see how this looks in a second. This panel piece now is in. Right. Two screws there, which are your BMs. There are two over here, BMs. Four across here, which are BMs. Four on the front across here, which are FM. Be careful when you're putting this piece in, because if you've got your cables trapped underneath, you will balls things up. So there will be a little bit of squashage and whatever. There's one there, I think it may be a little bit trapped, but it seems to be lit up fine. Bit underneath here was okay, as long as there's movement, there's gap to get cables under there anyway. Um, the only one I actually had a problem with was one was trapped underneath here, but just rerouted in the gaps. So there's plenty of space to go with your cables. Put your battery pack in, check, make sure your lights are working, which these, that you can't really tell in this light, are working absolutely fine. So, done. Happy, sorted, done. <sighs> that was quite an army. It's, get, it's awkward to try and get this into there as well now for testing. So, yes, be careful. Be honestly, be careful what you are doing. And then you will have the saucer section top side electrics nearly complete so that's for that that's been going on for too long that i think way way too long the switch it doesn't really go anywhere just yet it's just kind of kind of hovering we'll get round to that hopefully in the next part so oh i hate this i've got a metal thing on the back of here anyway but here you go thanks for watching please like and subscribe if you want to help me become a patreon of the channel to help me get this this build series up running done sorted now i'm on a um, weekly hopefully weekly basis then the description below has got all the links you need nothing major if you want to help a little bit then fine it does help the channel no end uh, other than that other links social media are down there if you want to donate something get in touch and i'll see you in another video bye for now